Thank you to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. The windows are all boarded up on this house, but we're gonna knock on the door just to make sure no one lives there. Stepping right over Poison Ivy to get to the front door. Amy's trying to buy the house and Mike's tree service is trying to clean it up for him. But we're gonna do it for free today. We're gonna do it for the neighborhood and we're gonna do it to get it looking better. Guys, you can't even see the sidewalk. Check that out. It's gonna be a good one. Hey everyone, my name is Spencer with SB Mowing and I found this property while driving around and just saw how absolutely crazy the lawn was. The edges were pouring over the sidewalks and the driveways and you could barely even see the front porch. I knocked on the door but all the windows were boarded up so I assumed it was abandoned and yeah, nobody answered. But I got talking to the next door neighbor who lived there for over 30 years. He told me all about the squatters that have lived there, the raccoons that lived in the basement at the time, trees falling and crashing through the roof, and the whole story about the homeowner and how his mom used to live there before she passed away. I'll put the audio for that conversation right after I get down here. If you guys haven't done so yet, I would really appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button down below as it's the best way to support me and the work that I'm doing through this channel. Hit that like button and comment down below as they're also really important and it gives you a chance to interact with me. I really hope you all enjoy this video as I spent an entire day on this property and I hope you have a great rest of your own day. SB Mowing, out.
Spencer here real quick. I just wanted to give a huge shout out to today's video sponsor and a big supporter of my channel, Simply Safe. I've always been interested in home security, especially during the holidays and when traveling, it gives you the peace of mind and control of what is happening at your home. The two biggest reasons that I haven't gotten home security yet is the price and the troubles of installing it. Simply Safe has solved both of those problems. Installing it was one of the easiest things I've done. The instructions are super simple and I didn't have to use a drill, nails, or any screws. 
There's no appointment and the equipment is delivered straight to your door. Everything I used was wireless and I could use the included wall strips to stick it wherever I wanted. And right now, you can save big on Simply Safe home security with up to 50% off new system orders. If you've been thinking about protecting your home and family with home security, now's the time to act. Or if you know someone close to you that could use the peace of mind, it makes the perfect holiday gift. Plus, if you want even more protection, Simply Safe offers 24/7 protection by live agents ready to dispatch police, firefighters, or EMTs in an emergency. And they offer this for less than $1 a day, which is less than half the cost of other home security brands. There's no long-term contracts, so you can start and stop at any time with no hidden fees. Simply Safe has been the perfect solution for me, and there's no safe like Simply Safe. Save up to 50% on your Simply Safe security system during Simply Safe's biggest sale of the year. Visit simplysafe.com/sbmowing to customize yours. Thank you once again to Simply Safe, and let's get back to Simply Safe on home.
So we're getting into some poison ivy right here. I really want to get rid of it. So I'm going to hit it with the right side of my string. So as the head of the weed eater rotates around, it throws it away from me. And then we'll go home and take a shower with Dawn dish soap and try to get it all off. guys so we just got finished and we are chilling here in the AC it got really really hot today um, I did have about an hour where it started sprinkling 
and then raining quite a bit and the um the temperature dropped about 10 degrees so that was really nice but we got a fish and it looks awesome guys at this time of year it's um just really hot and especially dry this year for some reason so i'm really happy for that rain but grass isn't growing a lot so when i do find homes that really need it they tend to be vacant or abandoned and haven't been mowed in or edged in months um a lot of homeowners um are able to get their lawns mowed now since everything is dry and dying off and going dormant um so most of my stuff has been abandoned vacant lots lately but it helps spruce the neighborhood up helps drainage the neighbor said that that they had a huge flood last year because stuff just wasn't draining. And I'm sure a big problem was this abandoned home right here. So we got all the curbs cleaned up, all the gutters cleaned up. And so hopefully it looks better for everybody and it just drains better. So the plan now is to go to the self car wash and spray down all my equipment and my boots because I did get into a little bit of poison ivy and I weed eated it just to get it out of there because I wanted this one to look really nice. And there wasn't that much, so I just decided to do it. So we're going to go to the self-car wash, spray off my boots, spray off my equipment with um, soap and degreaser. And then we're going to get home, put my clothes in the washing machine, put some Dawn dish soap in there, some white vinegar, and get those running. And then hop in the shower and scrub myself down with Dawn dish soap. And hopefully I don't get it. Um, the only way I would get it is if, you know, I'm touching my truck handle, uh, my truck steering wheel. And then later on, I go back and touch it and get some of the oils on my hands. That's the only way I would get it. And I have gotten it like that in the past, but it's usually not that bad. It's just a little bit on my arms and that's about it. So a lot better than waking up, not being able to open your eyes because they're so swollen from the poison ivy from, you know, rubbing your eyes or whatever. Um, I've had that before. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this one. The before and after pictures I know are going to be good. Here is a little teaser right here. And I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you next week.